Hello, my name is Austin Lehman. And welcome to the next edition of Austin Weekend. Here with me is Dad. And the alternate backdrop, background. Yeah, we have a dark background this time. And we are here to review X-Men Apocalypse. X-Men uh, Apocalypse with some popcorn. <laughs> It basically follows around X Men. It's a story mm -hmm. about from the tra from the trailer, they fight Apocalypse. Yeah, and Apocalypse is this all powerful uh, mutant, like supposed to be maybe even the first mutant ever, and he's all powerful. And it's just the story of uh, facing him and facing basically battling him and and everything that ensues from that there. And what do you think about this movie? Well, I went into the movie. Of course, the first reviews that you get are like, well, you know, critics. But yeah. critics are like, mm. but you know what? You know, we sort of are critics. But you know what we think about critics? They most, don't really know anything. Most of the time, they really have no clue what, they they, don't what know they're watching. What they're thinking about. No, they don't go into these movies as fans. We they, go we go into these movies as fans of the X Men. As, we go in as good fans of the Swords material. Yeah, so not uh, as whiny, complacent. No. I'm not going to leave a terms of endearment tearjerker one night and then go watch X Men the next night because I don't want to watch the tearjerker anyway. So who cares? Uh, I actually went into it, of course, with that little bit of doubt because of the critics always put something in your mind. And came out very pleasantly surprised. I really enjoyed the movie. Yes, it, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. It was really. Uh, we were we were actually talking coming back from the movie. It was actually told in a comic book style. That might have been maybe why some of the critics didn't like it because it wasn't you, told in a classic movie style. It wasn't really mm -hmm. your typical comic book movie that you usually come out of Marvel. Yeah, it was, uh, if you like how comics read, if you like how in-depth they are, you'll get a kick uh, out of this one. Then you'll really like this movie. If you're a comic fan, then you will like this movie. If, you, if, if you've read comics and you enjoy that, if you enjoy the in-depth storyline, it is a pretty long movie. How, how long is it? Two, two, hours. two hour, almost two and a half hours. Yeah, it's almost two and a half hours. So it's a, so it's a long movie. And they put a lot in it, uh, but it's in depth, and I personally, I personally like that. You personally like in depth movies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of them are flashbang, wow, pal, you know, and then you you don't get as much in depth story, you don't get as much feeling, uh, and uh, in this one you did, uh, you you know you can actually feel what's happening in the movie. I said it's told in depth, and I and I do like that. What do you think about the story wise? What do you think about it that like that? Story wise was actually uh, pretty good. Of course, none of these movies stay canon to the uh, comics. Of course, the comics change stuff all the time anyway. So, uh, but it had a but it had a pretty good story too. I actually I, I actually I actually I actually liked it. Uh, everybody's seen from from the previews that Magneto was one of the four horsemen that fights with uh, Apocalypse, and his story of how he got to where he's at there is pretty just tragic heart, heart ripping tragic yeah so uh like i said there's some heart ripping stuff in it there's some tragedy in it uh, it's pretty violent isn't it it's violent for a pg-13 movie i mean even in the opening scenes it's pretty like uh smash bang bang dead 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 so so um it's pretty violent which I, again, like I said, it brings out the true tone of the comic of the books. comics. It does. Yes, it does. It brings out that tone of comic books. So, like I said, if you enjoy comics, if you enjoy reading the comics and the in depth of sitting down and enjoying a good comic, then you will enjoy this movie. What do you uh, think about the characters? They're good. Like I said, they're good. Uh, all of them are really good. Uh, there was a few of them. Uh, of course, you know, I mean, the, the movie's two and a half hours long. You couldn't have made it much longer. But you, nah, you could have. You could have made it a. If it if it was any longer, you'd have to 
tell even more backstories to <laughs> add on like, to the more there's, backstories. There's more characters that you I would have liked to have seen more in depth of, like uh, like Jubilee was in the movie, and uh, you know she was actually made from the 1980s cartoon was where she was first introduced. With. So and me being the old geek I am. Uh, I love the, the 90s cartoon. I love the 90s X-Men cartoon. It was really it was really good. So so I would have liked to have seen more of the Jubilee character and I believe they actually cut part of her stuff out. They didn't use her in depth because it wasn't as important to the story and uh, I mean shoot it's already two and a half hours long. Yeah, so. you didn't want to you didn't want to make your audience just sitting in your chair and wondering why am I going to use the bathroom? Yeah, and I'll, honestly, I would rather the movie leave me wanting a little bit more than just throwing everything at you and you know covering you in crap. So, <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I liked it. Yeah. So, uh, who? What, do you, did you have a, a favorite character in them? I mean, they did throw a lot of characters at you. There are you, so you, there are lots. The, you've of got characters. Apocalypse. You've got the Four Horsemen. You've got. Uh, mainly what four of the X Men plus four of the X -Men Xavier. Mutant. So you know you've got a dozen characters in this thing just flying around, and shooting, banging, and slapping, cutting, blowing up. But uh, did did you have a favorite one? Maybe one of the new ones they've introduced or anything? Did you have any? If you've seen anything from the trailer, or if anything you knew about X Men, if you knew a lot of things about X Men, if you've read all the comics, watched the TV shows, watched the previous movies. You probably already knew that the head honcho was going to be in there. Mm-hmm. And I love it. You love it? I loved his... I loved his appearance. Mm-hmm. The good old... Wolverine. Wolverine. We won't say much about him. I mean, you've, you've seen the preview when all it does is show his hand... With the uh, with the uh, with the blade coming out of it, it's awesome so we won't claws. we won't give anything away about the X Men about the uh, Wolverine appearance, but it's pretty, pretty cool. cool. It's pretty cool. It is, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I like I like uh, Psylocke. She's uh, she she was she was pretty cool. I love her psychic sword she used there. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Storm was pretty cool. That's I mean, a character I mean, from the original X Men, ain't it? Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, I would have liked to have seen more of Angel. And uh, they they never called him Archangel, which is actually what he is with the uh, metal wings and stuff. That's kind of disappointing because with the with the regular wings, he was Angel. With uh, the metal wings, yeah, he was Archangel. They which did, is kind of weird. You didn't see him a lot. As in depth as the, the, my, my, that might have been one thing I would like to see more. Of, was, of course, again, it's two and a half hours long. You can't get it more in depth. But, You'd have uh, to put in a, a editor's yeah, cut. Yeah, there, and, and there and then there might be an editor's cut coming. Either that or made it into two movies. Of course, that would have really been something then. But uh, but again, overall, I really I was really pleased with it. What do you think about the acting? The acting was good too. I didn't have any problems with it. It was superb. That. It was superb acting, yeah. Uh, there wasn't any time that you thought, man, I don't really believe. What, I mean, it was really, I mean, they, it did, was believable. they did believable scenes, believable acting, believable characters. What do you think about special effects? Wow. Top notch, yeah, that was, yeah. Uh, especially, uh, again, you uh, in the previews, we're not giving nothing away. You've seen the scenes where. They're all fighting at that one point, and uh, Cyclops is shooting his beams and stuff like that. That was some pretty when you when you get the whole scene by itself. It that was that was a pretty epic battle. It was a it was a pretty epic battle. Let's just say it was a really good battle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It told a lot of backstories that made sense. Yeah. And it had a lot of characters that fit into that scenario, mm -hmm. like. A lot of mm. other comics, book movies that Marvel makes now that are excellent. Mm-hmm. And again, I just, I just really thought it was really well made all the way around. It was, it was long, but it wasn't tedious. But it wasn't tedious. It was in depth. It was long and in depth. That's a difference. Like, like again, I believe a lot of people. I'd rather are, have it long and well told than long and crappy. Mm-hmm. Or short. And I mean, I would again. I would rather have it in depth like that than 
than not. I may be, you know, we may be not on the majority or, or, or we might not be on the same level of the critics, but uh, I would rather have the in-depth story in, uh, when it comes to comic movies than I would just instant gratification from the storyline itself. You know, I like a little in-depth to my characters and the story. Okay, now let's get to the rating. Okay, the rating. You want to you explain the rating just in case nobody's seen it? The rating here, one being completely and utterly horrible. Crap. You want this? Crap. <laughs> and ten being the best thing ever. I like this popcorn. <laughs> and this icy. Mmm. Mm. Now, anyway, yeah. now we pick something from the movie to mm. or TV show to put in as our rating. We don't use stars. No, that's too ordinary. Black. What do we use for X Men? Oh, Apocalypse. What, what we use for X Men? Dumpling time. Dumpling time. Yeah, yeah. Like for the Kung Fu Panda, we use dumplings. Because that was, that, was, that, was, that was his favorite thing. What do we want to use for the X-Men? Wow, Man, that's going to be hard to think that of. That is pretty epic. Uh, let's, just say, uh, let's just say destruction. Oh, no, no, that'll be too typical. Yeah, let's see. That's, um, uh, I don't mutants. Let's just use mutants. Let's not make it a game of Jeopardy like everybody has to guess. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. From one being crap to ten. Say it again. Crap. One being crap to ten being the best thing ever. Say it again. It's the best ever. How many mutants do you give X Men Apocalypse? I'm probably going to give it a good solid nine. It was a superb movie. Mm. I actually initially had my doubts from the movie. Mm -hmm. Considering all the crap it's been getting mm -hmm. from the media for being not movie told, mm -hmm. but it's not what you the people throw at your face. No, it's certainly over hated for what it was. I said me, me myself, Percy. I would give it a good solid nine. Also, it is a strong movie in my point. Maybe even a nine one. I mean, it's probably the best comic book told movie that we've had. I mean, just to be honest, it is in-depth, story told based show. It's not off flash bang, pow, and blah, 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 blah. It's a lot of, a lot of feeling, a lot of in-depth, and a, a lot of comic book, like I said, I keep throwing back to that, but it's told like a, like a, like a comic book, which makes it different. So if you haven't seen the movie and you're going to watch it, go in, go in to watch it. Go in with a like, go in like you're thinking it's going to be a story and not a just a movie. Yeah, go in with a full-headed mindset. Mm -hmm. Don't go with a critic mindset or yeah. a, a or an emphasis yeah. on critic. But uh, overall, I think we both give it a nine. It's a really good movie. Now, okay, now what do we do next? Coming up next, of course, uh, the Turtles movie is coming out like or like right now, so we got to go watch the new Turtles movie. And it is directed by Michael Boom Bay. Michael <laughs> Boom Bay. Yeah, that has to be his middle name because he blows up every other thing that's every other scene's got an explosion in it. And uh, every other scene has to have Megan Fox. Yeah, Megan Fox or explosions. But anyways, <laughs> we're gonna go watch the Turtles movie. Uh, um, we've got some cartoons coming up. We got Ed, Ed and Eddie. Ee, we got some cat dog. Ee. So well, we've got some more stuff coming up to you. Be sure and like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And Throw don't some you dare pass by our page and not do it. Subscribe, like, put a comment down there. I want to know what you're thinking. I'm not a I'm not a psychic like Charles Xavier. <laughs> I need you got to put a comment. Uh, Professor X isn't. Isn't even alive. He's a comic book character. Dude, he can't read your mind and put it in the comic section. He's real in my world. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment down there and talk to us. Let us know what's going on. Other than that, I, I think we're good to go. And we'll see you soon. I can read the cameraman's mind. Thanks. See you next week. Pew.